Dreams are normal for every human being. In fact, research has it that every human being has the capacity to dream. But one of the things that are fact is that dreams are either good or bad. For the one that is bad, it is expected that as a child of God, you realize that dreams as such are an evil attack on you and should be dealt with by the power that's in the name of Jesus. If you have that dream, realize that God is intended in his will, as his word has said, to deliver you from it. There are consequences of some dreams that come, such as eating and dreams that can be interpreted as putting people in bandages. Some, it could be putting you in perpetual beggarly habits. It in, it dreams also can have a spiritual implication that could put you to death. And that is why we get to hear mysterious deaths after sleep. But there is a name that is above every other name, the name of Jesus. That when we take every of our cares to him, he will answer. And that's what we are going to do this morning. So wherever you are, you've experienced it, or you have someone that has experienced it, come in that name believing you and I let's agree as the Bible says a threefold cord cannot be broken let's stand in the agreement as we cancel every evil dream that has tormented your life or your families in the name of Jesus if it is a pattern today we break it by the power that's in the name of Jesus let's pray in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for the authority that is in the name of Jesus and the power that we have that when we come to you, Lord, you hear us always. And our confidence is that when we exercise the faith, we would receive that which we ask for in the name of Jesus. According to your word in Psalm 27 verse one, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is a stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? In the mighty name of Jesus, I speak to every evil spirit that comes in the dream to the hearer of my voice today. Whatever name you are called by the pardons in the name of Jesus, I release the light of God even into the life of that man and woman. And I decree that the light will shine and darkness will comprehend it not in the mighty name of Jesus. I break the spirit of fear that has come as a result of that wicked dream by the pardons in the name of Jesus. Today, you are brought to know and void in Jesus name Proverbs 3 verse 24 says if you lie down you will not be afraid when you lie down your sleep will be sweeter I decree that from today anyone that has been tormented that is always afraid when it's time to go to bed by the power and the efficacy in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that that torment stops today in the name of Jesus. I come against you, you foul spirit that only wait for people not to sleep. And before they close their eyes, you begin to torment them. Hear the word of the king because the word of God says where the authority of the king is, there is power. I project myself in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth by the blood of the Lamb. I declare you powerless over that life in the name of Jesus. I shatter every lie of the devil. The dreams have been interpreted to them that would bring fear, would bring poverty, would bring sickness and even ultimately wanting to bring death in that life or the family. We cancel it. I destroy that pattern of continuous torment in dreams where 
way they begin to work as laborers when in essence they're supposed to be kings and princes. Today I reverse that dream that comes as a result of your servitude. I destroy it in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against every foul spirit that begins to make you eat when you're not supposed to eat even in dreams. I destroy you in the name of Jesus. I come against that spirit that makes you continuously rumbling and swimming across oceans uh, with no stop to it uh, bringing people to the manifestation of struggles today by the part that's in the name of Jesus that struggle stops in the name of Jesus the Lord is against you the blood of Jesus is against you the name of Jesus is against you you have no power because it is written this one that the Lord has delivered because he's been taken out of darkness into the marvelous light of God we draw the bloodline we declare that this life is safe and secure in the name of Jesus I confront you not in my name but that name that is above every other name and I decree and decree that no longer with this man or this woman hearing the sound of my voice be tormented suffering or vomiting even if it's in the dream today in the mighty name of Jesus Father God we know that Jesus took it away the Bible says the chastisement of our peace was upon him and by his stripes we were healed every chastisement that they are experiencing in dreams being Bitting, being flogged, being chained today because of what Jesus did on the cross. We declare a reversal and a stop to that in the name of Jesus. I break the yoke by the fire of the Holy Spirit of every evil connections that brings about bad dreams in any life today. I destroy it in the name of Jesus. I destroy every spirit of witchcraft that brings about people traveling from their bodies because they have announced and denounced you in the mighty name of Jesus. Today, your link with them is broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Tonight, by the parties in the name of Jesus, I declare that every witchcraft agent making any man or any woman or child boy or girl to go about masturbating or going even into any perversion in the dream i declare that child man woman boy girl free in the name of jesus father we thank you because you have said it that he that the son has set free is free indeed. This ones have been freed. They are the sons and daughters of Abraham. Today and henceforth, they remain free in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for joy that fills their heart. Thank you because every vacuum, the blood has blocked it. That no one would have any power to penetrate through to them in the name of Jesus. The Word of God made it clear to us that no weapon formed against us or fashioned against us should prosper, and any tongue that rises in judgment against us shall be condemned. Now the devil and his cohorts are all out to wreak havoc on you and your family. You have the authority in the name of Jesus to nullify the attacks of every evil against you and your family. There is a need for you to send back the wiles of the enemies that are targeted at you and your family. We're going to be praying together to fight against these attacks. So, let us pray. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the powers of darkness that are sent to attack you in your mind and body are destroyed. You are free from the agenda of the evil ones. The Son of Man has set you free, therefore you are free indeed in the name of Jesus. Colossians 2.15 says, And having disarmed the powers and authorities, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them by the cross. And according to these words, I decree that the victory that you have been given over the works of darkness by our Lord Jesus is sealed, and you walk in it in the name of Jesus. 
1 John 4 verse 4 says, Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. I therefore pray for you that the assurance of God is greater than all the adversaries around you in the name of Jesus. Psalm 35 verse 1 says that the Lord will plead your cause against those that strive with you and will fight against those that fight against you. I decree that the Lord will fight against all those that are fighting against you even now in the name of Jesus. I also decree that the blood of Jesus will plead on your behalf and avenge all your adversaries that are plotting your downfall. In the mighty name of Jesus, I should fought the arrows of God to destroy all the devices of the enemies that are meant to pull you down. I also send the lightning of God to scatter all the gathering of the evil ones that are plotting to cause you shame and sorrow in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that you will put on the whole armor of God to be able to withstand the wiles of the devil that are sent to you and your family. You will not unknowingly pull off the armor of God that you are wearing in the mighty name of Jesus. I claim victory for you and your family over the works of darkness in the name of Jesus and I decree that you will enforce that victory that you have been giving in the name of Jesus. I release the angels of the Lord to go ahead of you and protect you from the wiles and attacks of terrestrial forces in the name of Jesus. I make a decree that you and your loved ones are protected emotionally, mentally and physically in the name of Jesus. You are not hurt in any way in the name of Jesus. And I decree that you will continue to abide under the pavilion of the highest. The light of God will shine upon your part and reveal the works of darkness around you and your family. I pray that the agenda and plans of the wicked ones are twatted by the fire of the Holy Ghost. 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 3 says, But the Lord is faithful and he will strengthen you and protect you from the evil ones. I stand on the integrity of God's word and I pray that the Lord will strengthen you and protect you from the attacks of the evil ones in the name of Jesus. John 10.10 10 says that the thief comes only to steal, kill and destroy. But Jesus came to give you life and give it to you more abundantly. I pray that the Lord will shower you with abundant life in all you do in the name of Jesus. The Word of God says in Matthew 18, 18, Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth would be loosed in heaven. Right now, I bind all the powers of the enemies that are all out wreaking havoc upon you and your family in the mighty name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus that was shed on the cross of Calvary will begin to fight on your behalf and your family in the name of Jesus. I decree that the enemies will see the blood and they will have no choice but to pass over you. I pray for you that you will always fight the good fight of faith and as you do this, you will be able to withstand the wiles and the attacks of the wicked ones around you. I decree that the Lord would fight on your behalf and you will hold your peace in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree the devices of the devil and his minions are exposed in the mighty name of Jesus. I set you on the mountain top and I decree that the activities of the evil ones won't find you in the mighty name of Jesus. There is safety for you and your family because they that dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. The enemies will always try so hard to make sure that you leave the secret place of the Most High so that you will be vulnerable to his attacks. Fear not, for he who is on your side is more than they that are on the other side. The Bible says in Psalm 91 verse 4, God will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will take refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and wall. You are covered and shielded from all the traps of the wicked ones. Do not be scared of the devices of the powers of darkness against you. We will be praying for protection and safety for you and all members of your household. And so let us pray together 
with faith and in faith. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the confidence that we have even in you. That when we ever come to you, you are ever ready to listen to us. And so in the name of Jesus, I pray and declare and everyone under the sound of my voice, I pray for you that the Lord will keep you safe from all the traps of the wicked ones in Jesus' name. Psalm 23 verses 2 to 4 say that the Lord will lead you beside the still waters. He will guide you in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though you walk in the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil for God is with you. His rod and his staff will comfort you. I decree over you and your family that all these will be your portion and that of your families in the name of Jesus. According to the word of God in Psalm 25 verses 20 to 21, you will be secured and guarded by the Lord and you will not be ashamed for the Lord will be your refuge. The Lord would always be your ever present help in times of trouble in the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 34, 18 says that the Lord will save those who are crushed in the spirit. I pray for you that any way you might be low in spirit, you will be saved by the Lord in Jesus name. He will hide you in the day in his tabernacle in the day of trouble. He will hide you in a secret place and he will lift you up on a rock in the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 55 2 says that you should cast your burden to the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never allow the righteous to be shaken. I pray for you and your family that you will cast your burden to the Lord and as you do that, he will sustain you in all areas of your life. The Lord will be your light and salvation. You will not fear. The Lord will be the strength of your life and you will not be afraid of what the wicked ones can do against you. You will always lift up your eyes to the hill because that is where your help will come from the Lord in the name of Jesus. The Lord will always watch over you in your going out and your coming in throughout this year. And I pray also that the Lord will be the shade on your right hand. A thousand shall fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but they shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you behold the reward of the wicked that are gathered against you and your family in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree over you that the Lord will protect you from all evil. He will also preserve your soul in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Psalm 4 verse 8 that you will lie down and sleep for the Lord will cause you to dwell in safety. I pray for you today that any time you lie down to sleep, the Lord will make you to sleep in peace and you will not be attacked by the evil ones. You will always take refuge in the secret place of the Most High in the name of Jesus. As you have taken refuge in the Lord, you will never be put to shame. I pray for you that any time you call upon the name of the Lord, He will arise and save you from the mouth of the wicked ones. He will be your strength and shield. I also pray for you that you will always put your trust in Him. I pray for you. That the Lord will rescue you from those who attack you and will keep you secured from the snares of the trappers in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that even though you walk in the midst of trouble, the Lord will revive you and keep you safe and the Lord will reach out with his mighty hands against the wrath of your enemies. The Lord's right hand will always save you in Jesus name. The word of God in Exodus 14, 14 says that God would fight for you and you will hold your peace. Our father is the Lord of hosts. His name is Jehovah Sabaoth and he is a master at fighting for his children. The battle is the Lord's, so you do not need to worry yourself about the number of people that are against you because he that is in you is more than those that are against you. Rest in the salvation of the Lord. He would never leave you alone to fight against the wicked ones that are against you. 
call upon the name of the Lord, you are sure of getting victory. His word says that anyone that calls on his name shall be saved. And so we will be engaging the name of the Lord to fight against the wicked ones that have devised our hurt. Let us pray. In Jesus' name, I pray that the Lord will begin to fight for you and you will hold your peace. The Lord will take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for your help in Jesus' name. The word of God says in Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 30, The Lord your God who goes before you, he will fight for you according to all he did for you in Egypt before your eyes. I pray that God will go ahead of you and begin to fight your battles in the name of Jesus. And I decree that all the wicked ones that are guarded against you will feel the wrath of God this very moment in the name of Jesus. I release the fire from the throne room of God to consume all the wicked forces that are subtly at work in your life and family in the name of Jesus. I cancel and destroy all the agenda and devices of the wicked ones against you in the mighty name of Jesus. And I bind and cast out all the forces of darkness that are manipulating any member of your family. I engage the ministry of angels and I send them right now to begin to wage war against the wicked ones that are plotting evil against you and your family in the name of Jesus. I decree that you are more than a conqueror against all the forces of darkness that are guarded against you to cause you sorrow and anguish in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 52 verse 12 says, For you shall not go out with haste, nor go by flight. For the Lord will go before you, and the God of Israel will be your rear God. According to the word of God, I decree that the Lord will go ahead of you and war against demonic forces that are frustrating the will of God in your life in the name of Jesus. All the wicked ones that have gone against you in one way shall flee before you in seven ways in the name of Jesus. The Lord God go before you as a consuming fire and he will destroy the enemies around you and will bring them down in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Isaiah 49 verse 25 that the Lord will contend with those that contend with you. By reason of the word of God, I pray that the Lord will begin to contend against the evil ones that are warring against you and your family in Jesus' name. The Lord will be your refuge and your hiding place against all the onslaught of the wicked ones. You would no longer be scared of the devil's devices against you as the Lord will always render his devices important in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that the Lord will give you strength to resist all the devices of the wicked ones. You will be empowered to submit to God and to resist the devil. And as you do these, you will always be victorious against the devil and his cohorts in the name of Jesus. I build a wall of defense around you against the attacks of the evil ones. 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 6 says that it is a righteous thing with God to repay with tribute those who trouble you. I pray for you in that name, Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, that God will repay with tribulations those who trouble you. You will always wait on the Lord and as you do this, he will save you from the mouth of the wicked ones. The Lord will curse all those that are cursing you in Jesus' name. I decree that the Lord will cut in pieces the cords of the wicked in your life and your family. From today, you would no longer be afraid of the evil ones for the Lord is with you and he will deliver you in Jesus name. I pray for you that the Lord will guard your feet and all the evil ones guarded against you shall be silent in darkness in Jesus name. The word of God in your mouth is capable of turning dark clouds that the wicked ones have used to conceal the glory of the Lord in your life and family. Dark clouds might come in the form of sicknesses and diseases, pains, poverty, disappointment,
strange patterns and occurrences and every other thing that is contrary to the will of God for you. Now it is time to command these dark clouds to vanish so that the glory of the Lord will be seen much more in your life and family. Matthew 16, 19 says, You have the keys of the kingdom to bind anything on earth and it will be bound in heaven and to lose anything on earth and it will be loosed in heaven. We will be commanding all dark clouds to vanish in your life and family now by using the name of Jesus. Let us pray together in faith. In the name of Jesus, I pray that all things that are contrary to the will of God for you and your family are taken away. I pray for you that the glory of the Lord would shine in your family and your life in the name of Jesus. I decree that the light of the Lord will begin to expose the subtle activities of the wicked ones in your life and in your family. By the power in the Holy Ghost, I scatter all the gathering of the wicked ones that are orchestrating evil against you and your family in Jesus' name. I decree that every negative atmosphere to disappear. Anyone or anything staring up dark clouds around you is destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every dark cloud around you that is preventing your God-ordained helpers from coming to you disappear right now in the name of Jesus. I scatter all the powers of darkness that are in charge of causing evil occurrences to you and your family in the name of Jesus. I decree that the light of God will expose the plans of the wicked ones against you and your family. Every dark cloud that is generational disappears right now in the name of Jesus. Psalm 35 verse 1 says, God will plead your cause with those that strive against you and he will fight against those that fight against you. I decree that the Lord would fight against the wicked ones that are instigating problems in your family and in your life in the name of Jesus. 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 6 says, It is a just thing with the Lord to recompense tribulation to those that trouble you. I pray for you that the Lord will begin to judge those that are troubling you and your family in the name of Jesus. I use the blood of Jesus to wipe off all traces of the activities of darkness in your life and in your family. All powers that are waiting for your downfall will be surprised as the Lord will keep on upholding and strengthening you in the name of Jesus. You are untouchable. For the powers of darkness, you will trample upon all of them that are operating in your life and your family in Jesus' name. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost to consume all the pieces of machinery of the evil ones that they are using to manipulate you and your family in the name of Jesus. Since you are on the Lord's side, all the enemies around you will bow because he that is with you is more than the enemies that are guarded around you in Jesus' name. All the plots of the wicked ones against you are falling to the ground by the power in the name of Jesus. You will not be frustrated by evil happenings around you and your family. All strange patterns in your family give way for the glory of God to shine much more in your life in Jesus' name. I decree that the Egyptians you see today, you shall see no more because the Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. All the forces of darkness that want you to beg before you eat are arrested and sent into the abbeys right now in the name of Jesus. The dark clouds of premature death in your life and your family disappears right now in the name of Jesus. All forms of delay in your life and family end now by the power in the name of Jesus. You are free indeed from all forms of attacks and manipulations of the devil and his cohorts. In Jesus' name. You need the grace of the Lord to help and strengthen you when you are weak. 
Grace was made available when the Lord Jesus died on the cross for our sins. The Word of God says that the grace of the Lord has appeared to all men, teaching them to deny ungodliness. Without the grace of the Lord in your life, you will struggle to get certain results. Hebrews 4.16 says you should come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. You are to come to God with all the eye to have confidence to obtain grace. Grace strengthens and makes it easy for you to get all that God has prepared for you. I trust that you know that everything that you need is found in grace and Jesus Christ himself is grace personified. The word of God told us to ask anything in his name and he will give it to us. You have a blank check to ask him anything even down to the innermost part of the earth. We will be asking him with all sincerity of heart and faith to keep on empowering us with his grace. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for empowering us with grace in all areas of our lives. We give you the praise, Lord, for making us victorious against the powers of darkness by your grace that is made available for us. The Word of God says in Ephesians 2 verses 8 to 9, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not as a result of works, so that no man will boast. I pray for you that the grace of God will work effectively in your life, and you will not frustrate the grace of God in your life. I pray for you that the grace of God would give you supernatural speed in all ramifications in Jesus' name. 2 Corinthians 19 2 says the grace of God is sufficient for you. I therefore pray for you that the grace of God will be sufficient for you in all areas of your life in Jesus' name. The grace of God will set you free from the bondage of the wicked ones in Jesus' name. The word of God says in John 1 16 to 17 that we have received of his fullness and grace for grace. I pray for you that the grace of God will increase and never diminish in your life. James 4 verse 6 says that he gives grace to the humble, but God resists the proud. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you are empowered to always humble yourself in the sight of the Lord to enable him to supply you grace daily in the name of Jesus. Since you are no longer under the law but under grace, I pray for you that you are no longer bound to the law. You operate much more in the grace that God has made available for you. I release grace over your life and I pray for you that the grace of God will help you in becoming who God wants you to be. The grace of God in your life will teach you to deny all forms of ungodliness in the name of Jesus. I release a fresh supply of grace into your life that would make you stand out in the crowd. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for you that grace would exempt you from the plans of the wicked ones. I release the grace of excellence over you. By the power in the name of Jesus, you will be released into the realm of possibilities where impossibility is never heard. In Jesus' name, you will not fall short of the grace of God for you and your life. And I pray for you that you will not frustrate the grace of God for your life in the name of Jesus. I hereby pray for you that you would never lack the oil of grace in the name of Jesus. The God of grace will restore to you and make you strong after you might have suffered a while in Jesus' name. Psalm 103 verse 8 says, The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in love. I stand upon the word of God and I pray for you that the Lord would always show you and your family his compassionate and gracious side in the name of Jesus. Since you are no longer under law but under grace, I decree that you would no longer be a slave to sin in the name of Jesus. We bless you, Lord, for answering our prayers. And we thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering us always. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. 
I urge you to drop your prayer requests and testimonies in the comment section. And I implore you with the love of God to like, share and subscribe to our channel. God bless you.